So here's the tools we're gonna use. We're gonna use uh, dog hair, which we always have plenty of. Now we're gonna disperse it around here and then we're gonna drive it in with a brush. All right guys, we're gonna create a mess. So here we go. Two uh, German Shepherds, cats, that kind of stuff. And let it snow. gonna flamethrow destroy it here so here we go <laughs> I hope you're not allergic to dog we have the the new for real we've got it hooked to the fang tool which is the adapter that hooks here it'll hook to your normal inch and a quarter house uh, back central back small back all that kind of stuff normal back hose with an inch and a half Works really good on there. We have our pet hair tool, rock, and the lily brush, which has been a nice tool too. So, lily brush. And I'm really working this. Don't get me wrong, this is not a bad tool, but now I've got to take this over and get it. And the other problem that I've seen with these is that they get dirty because the dog hair gets oily and stuff. And it gets dirty, and as it does, you have no choice but to go clean off the rubber because it gets dirty. Okay, so let's, we're just gonna time this on roughly how long it takes. There's definitely still some dog hair left in there. So let's try the, the pet hair rock. Pet hair rock, you gotta keep going over it. It tends to load up, it's kind of a pain. Take a look at that with the light on it. There's still quite a bit of hair left in there. Can you see that? A lot of hair left down in there. And I'm getting a sweat, I'm working up. So let's take the largest section here. Let's grab the for real, throw it on the thing. Remember with the for real, it's always left to right or right to left. If you go back and forth quickly, you're gonna push, pull the hair out, push it back in. So here we go. It'll kind of warm up. You know, we'll go back the other way. And you can pull down this way too if you want. So let's see how we did. That was definitely a lot less work to get that done. Let me grab. Well, that's pretty dang nice. Look over here. Even after all that work in a smaller section, it took a lot longer. Over here, left even more. It can scratch the plastic, took a lot longer. One time here, very quickly. All right, guys, well, that was three minutes and 42 seconds to perfection. That's uh, pretty amazing, it's real. Now look, all in really good shape. It actually really does last well. Remember that friction is what you're, uh, you're gonna wear it out with. So if you're pushing down too hard, or if you're going too fast, it's not about that. It's about just going slowly. That, that's their self-cleaning. So go one way with it. Now, you got a little left, go the other way with it. And that's all there is to it. One way, then the other way. It's not that back and forth issue. That's not it, that's not it. It's one way, slowly, let that stuff grab. Don't push down too hard in the other way, okay? If you do that, it lasts really, really well. I guarantee you, 
you're gonna get good results and lots of cars out of it. But if you get too aggressive with it, it's gonna wear it out. So, all right guys, buffbright.com.